As you look forward to 2016, 2017, what do you hope to be able to do more of? What techniques or technologies do you hope to have at hand? Well, you know, the transition from the evidence related to um, pre-implantation genetic screening of embryos and the ease of having it is something that's transitioning, where the equipment is getting a lot less expensive, so it's becoming something that's a lot easier to offer to your patients. And I think uh, that has become something that we're going to watch happen over this year. There have been, um, as well, um, you know, we're, there's a lot of ease towards patient care that are coming about, which I think are nice. Like, they've transitioned from this year to next, but it's having combined medications that are available, which are very nice. Uh, it helps the patient. It avoids shots. Um, and I think that um, that is something as well that will be helpful for the patient. So it's that personalized approach as well. So, so you're getting right at them, personalized for the patient, personalized for the embryo. So, so um, from when you first started in the field until now, I, I assume it's been a major transition. It, it uh, you know, I've been doing this for 15 years. So the 15 years I've been a reproductive endocrinologist, um, we've had all kinds of introductions of techniques that we couldn't even have thought about before. Um, we did not have accurate ways of testing embryos. In fact, I remember when the first studies came out, and I had already been in practice for about five years when the first studies came out and said that, uh, in fact, the traditional fish way of doing analysis of embryos is not very accurate. There's a lot of mosaicism there. And here we're, we're getting to systems that are much more accurate. At the same time, um, we're starting to understand that there are differences in the medications that we use and that you have to really personalize that medication to the patient, that they will perform better as you personalize the medication. You're more likely to have a pregnancy. And at the same time, um, it again alleviates some of the stress for them, as well as the speed that you end up getting them a baby, which is helpful. You've been able to speed it up. And, and I, I really uh, appreciate that you, you talk both in what we saw this year and what we're looking for uh, about cost, right? Because it means that I think more and more of the patients who want access to it may have access to it. And it you know, at least in North America, we've always been knowledgeable costs are an issue. And, uh, and I think there's some suggestion that more places in North America are going to get on the bandwagon and cover. And that'll be great for patients. I think that'll actually be great for uh, even the societies we live in in general by increasing the population in ways that we need. Those are all important things. Yeah. Well, great. Thanks for taking a few minutes That's to chat. It's my pleasure.